Welcome to Herculaneum! Get ready to be blown away, literally, by Vesuvius looming in the background. We made it to Herculaneum right outside of Naples. It took us about 15 minutes to get here from the port. Amazingly preserved, 2,000 years old, and the whole area was covered in frescoes. So this is the shoreline, the ancient shoreline. So we are here in December. We're actually here the day after Christmas. There's hardly anyone here, but normally if you come here in the summertime, this place will be packed. So when the eruption hit, the volcanoes right there, hidden by the trees, they didn't have any chance to carry anything away or even escape. And it's estimated that about 6,000 citizens lived here. 311 remains of bodies were found here. First impressions. Herculaneum, it's so rad. Yeah. This is so different than Pompeii because you can see the whole city kind of down below. Our first stop is the Antiquarian, an on-site exhibition that showcases the wealth and life and times of the people here in Herculaneum. The ancient findings from Herculaneum give visitors the rare chance to experience the vivid essence of ancient life in this city. We find glass beaded jewelry, mosaics, gold bracelets that would still be in style today, gold coins, glass vases, symbols of luxury and wealth, including surgery tools and stamps of the family names. Only the wealthy women of the day could afford to wear such treasures. We see gold bracelets, rings, and even earrings with modern day rivets, hoops, and hinges. Now we enter the boat pavilion, built specifically to house the wooden boat found near the bank of the port of Herculaneum, overturned by the violent flow of lava mud that buried this site in 79 AD. Going in. I'm going through the bridge. Wow. This is incredible. We have entered Herculaneum, and right here are the Roman walls. You can see the new city right there. What makes Herculaneum special is the chance to piece together an ancient society, including how they lived and the daily life. These would have been luxury homes with views of the bay. Right up ahead is the area that used to be at the sauna. So our guide is talking about the sewage system. This right here is the drainage system. Imagine being here during the eruption, just seconds left of your life. So now we're entering a luxury house. And you can see in the middle is an atrium. Wow, you can still see the pigment on the walls. Look at this, we have entered an ancient home. The light coming down from up above, pigments on the walls, sculptures. Inside, we see a cistern with an opening in the ceiling where the rainwater would be captured. Hmm. Oh, this is the door. You can see just a little bit right there. This is a close up. You can see there is red pigment on the wall, and over here, you can see a little bit of blue. Everywhere you look, there's symbols of opulence, from the mosaic floors to the painted walls. And inside this dwelling, one of the most famous surprises of Herculaneum. So this is a bed. They have these little rooms for sleeping. This right here is the preserved door. You can see remnants of the frescoes here. 
can kind of make out images of figures right there. Wow, most of the shops here had wooden sliding doors. So this right here was a wine bar. They had wine right here, just like modern day, little wine bars. This is a wine bar and they used to have gambling in here with dice. And right now our guide is taking us to the school for fighting. Young boys would be taught how to fight. So this was a colonnade. We're going down the colonnade. Look at the construction on this. It was two stories. And this was all made of marble. This is really a testament to the architecture of the Romans to have two stories still intact to this day. I hope somebody lives up here and just overlooks Herculaneum. Through here is the swimming pool. I want to go in this area that's blocked off. What do you guys think is through here? Dun, dun, dun. This is like super creepy back here. Can you imagine being here at night? Wow. Another unexplored area. Dun, dun, dun. By the way guys, if you're liking this video, like and subscribe. So this right here is a fountain and it would overflow and catch any of the sewage that didn't pick up through the drain. This is the bakery. You can see the grinding stones here. Over there is the oven, the wooden oven. This is the ancient bread kiln with wheat from Egypt. So they found out that this was a bakery because they found loaves of carbonized bread in the kiln. Just all these layers of history still standing here today. Look at how well preserved this is. Our guide said that the early Christians may have known Jesus himself because they came from the Holy Land. And also they had to pray in secret. So these are more fountains and they would overflow to allow proper drainage of the sewers. It's like modern day street cleaning. Look at the preserved wood. Look at these archways. The construction is incredible. You can see all of the reliefs still intact. Now we enter one of the most impressive buildings, the Temple of Augustulus. On both sides of the walls, we see frescoes of Hercules. Herculaneum gets its name from the Greek word Heraclium, which means Hercules. Hercules with Juno and Minerva, the goddess. And then on the right, nearby a throne. <coughs> the throne was another character, half a human and a half a goat, mm. pointing in the right way for the seventh. The Romans were very much influenced by the wisdom of the Greeks, and you can see it depicted on the walls here, the mythology of the Greeks. This was all inlaid marble, and the marble was imported by different countries. I love the construction of these walls. You can see exactly how it was built. They used to be covered by frescoes, and you can kind of see remnants of it right there. But now you just see the inside part, and it looks like honeycomb. This whole place is like a labyrinth. An ancient labyrinth. Imagine being here 2,000 years ago, going about your day and getting bread from the store. 
going to school and then boom the eruption it's truly remarkable to get this little glimpse of time here preserved right here in naples i highly recommend visiting herculaneum if you like this video smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below we also have a video of pompeii so check that out up above mike thoughts on herculaneum definite two thumbs up it's amazing you can walk through this ancient preserved town you can even see someone's bed inside the house there are multi-story dwellings they're really well intact so cool our guide said that only about a quarter of this site has been uncovered so much more to come